Hello students, welcome to this session. So in today's session, we will be discussing a naturopathy topic that is Panchatantra. So before getting into the topic that is Panchatantra, we will see something related to the, the disease aspect. So if we see on, in general, uh, in today's uh, scenario, so around we are seeing around uh, uh, 5 to 10 percent of congenital related disease and remaining 10 to 20 percent of uh, disease are due to any trauma, injury, accident, poisoning or so on. So a majority of the portion what we are seeing in the disease aspect is you know once it is congenital we can't do any we are helpless and second thing if it is due to any poisoning or accident, trauma uh, or uh, any other uh, due to any other natural, uh, natural calamities so post uh, exposure to that uh, specific uh, incidents so certain diseases will take place so but the remaining major aspect that is around 60 to 70 percent of the disease what we are seeing in the present scenario is due to lifestyle and metabolic disorders so mainly the change in lifestyle the food pattern the living habits the sanitary the uh, what you can say sanitization all the hygiene aspects uh, and the stress levels the occupational levels so these are the main things what we are uh, which is influencing all the individual health and that is what we are fo uh, facing in uh, present scenario that is lifestyle and metabolic disorders so around 60 to percent uh, 60 to 70 percent of the disease what we are seeing are due to lifestyle and metabolic disorders so lifestyle and metabolic disorders or even you can along with that you can add up with occupational disorders where you can see it might be a dyslipidemia, hypertension, diabetes, obesity, migraine, insomnia, sinusitis, whatsoever. But uh, the basic, the root cause of uh, the this disease is due to the lifestyle and metabolic disorders. So to overcome this, to overcome this type of lifestyle and metabolic disorders, in naturopathy we have five simple steps. So that we will be calling it as Panchatantra. So pancha means five, tantra means uh, rules. If we follow the five uh, simple rules in our day to activities, which can be followed very easily uh, without uh, any cause, if we following this, so what we are seeing around 60 to 70 percent of the disease what we, uh, India is facing uh, is due to lifestyle and metabolic disorders, we can overcome with that disease. So if we see the five basic principles and this sense the pancha tantras. So first part will be the uh, two meals a day. So first uh, rule is or the first uh, aspect is two meals a day. Second aspect is two to three shares of water per day. Third rule is pray twice a day. Fourth aspect is daily an hour of physical activity. And the fifth aspect is fasting once in a week. I repeat, so the basic five principles are, so the first principle is two meals a day second principle is two to three years of water per day third uh, principle is pray at least once or twice a day the fourth uh, principle is daily an hour of physical activity and the fifth uh, principle is fasting once in a week so if you see the introduction part of this panchatantra so mainly it is a set of rules as i said it is pancha means five and tantra means rules so it is a set of rules by which one can attain complete physical and mental health. It is not only about uh, the physical aspect, even it has an influence over the mental aspect uh, which uh, uh, individual can lead to the healthy life. So this, uh, if you follow these uh, five basic principles, it has impact over your physical level as well as the mental level. Coming to the health, as we have discussed, uh, the definition of health uh, so once when it is considered a person is healthy is normal uh, normal and harmonical vibration of the elements so what all the physical activities which will be taking place in our body if it is going in a normal aspect normal physiological function and if it is going in harmony then it is considered as one is leading a healthy lifestyle so uh, a physician a medical physician dr b venkatrao is the one who fa framed this uh, Panchatantras. Okay. So, as I said, uh, fasting once a week, daily an hour of physical activity, pray twice a day, two to three shares of water per day and two meals per day. So, we will be discussing one by one. So, the first point what we are going to discuss is two meals a day. So, 
Mainly, if we see about two, two meals a day, being a Indian, we are habituated for three meals. That is the breakfast, lunch and the dinner. So, but uh, still, uh, two meals a day will be the healthiest aspect where you can see, uh, where you can be having the, where you can avoid the all sorts of lifestyle and metabolic disorders. And coming to the food habits, mainly it is divided into Sattvic food habit, Rajasic food habit and Tamasic food habit. So mainly Sattvic food diet. So everyone will be aware what is that, wants to be know what is that Sattvic diet. So Sattvic diet will can be considered as bland diet where it should be less oily, less spicy and less you know deep fried uh, items or stuffs to be avoided. So that we, uh, food will be considered as Sattvic Ahara or else it can also be considered as fresh raw diet. It might be raw uh, vegetable salad or fruit salad so that will be considered as the sattvic diet and you know where uh, as i said uh, this sattvika food will be of less spicy less chilly and deep fried items as well as it should be less salty items will be considered as sattvic diet so coming to the uh, depending upon the two meals a day as i said before so it all depends upon certain factors where we have to uh, we have to regulate, we have to monitor upon the age of the individual. So, for the growing kids all to the geriatrics, the old age people you can't recommend with two meals a day because nowadays in general scenario if you are seeing most of the uh, geriatric and the old age people are with one or the other medications. So, we have to see for the age of the individual uh, before advising for this two meals a day and coming to the occupation. So, the mainly occupation whether it is uh, sedentary occupation, heavy work occupation, office related occupation, depending upon the occupation also we have to make a calorie restricted plan uh, depending upon the occupation so that one can have a healthy lifestyle and depending upon the temperature of uh, where of the uh, community where they stay. So, mainly in the humid region, in the coastal region. So, it all depends upon the uh, temperature also and the physical work. So, daily what amount of physical activities which they will be working uh, on that aspect also two meals a day uh, will be advisable. So, mainly when what we will say even though we are habituated for three meals a day. So, what we need to do morning breakfast. So, what uh, what is uh, breakfast is nothing but you are going to break the fast. So, around uh, evening 9 o'clock you will be having dinner by 9 p.m. Again the next breakfast will be in the next day's morning 9 a.m. So, around 12 hours of gap will be there. So, you are going to break the fast. So, when we are having a two meals a day, we can plan such a way that you should be having early morning we need to avoid the less oily, spicy, deep fried and chili related stuffs in the early morning itself to avoid the harmful for our digestive system. And second thing uh, afternoon lunch, you can have a sufficient lunch uh, to the max and coming to the dinner. So, mainly this plays a very important role because most of our uh, uh, community people what they will do as they are into the business or they are into the some profession, they will be reaching their homes to the late night and they won't be having sufficient gap between their sleep as well as their uh, uh, food. So, with that aspect we have to plan such a way that 2 to 3 hours of gap should be given between the food and sleep. So, that uh, with this aspect we can make 2 meals per day by seeing the age, by seeing their occupation, temperature as well as physical work. So, one aspect of the basic principle of the Panchatantra I have explained. So, in the next session we will be discussing regarding the next 4 principles. Thank you.